la chose la plus importante pour moi, c'est de combattre les injustices. Je ne les comprends pas, je ne les accepte pas. C'est pour ça que j'ai commencé à être médecin. Puis ensuite, j'ai choisi la politique. Et ça m'a conduit au poste de secrétaire général adjoint des Nations Unies, parce que c'est là où, je pense, le seul endroit au monde où les nations peuvent se parler. I thank my special advisor, Mr. Philip Dust Blasi, for his long-standing commitment to innovative financing for development. J'ai l'impression de faire quelque chose de positif en, en voyageant. Donc du coup, euh, oui, si ça peut permettre à, à des enfants euh, d'avoir des soins ou autre, euh, bah, c'est quelque chose qui, qui est plutôt positif. C'est pas mal, hein voilà, <rire> Non, c'est une bonne solution, c'est bien. Je trouve que c'est bien que ce soit euh, des petits prélèvements comme ça, euh, par-ci, par-là, ça peut être bien. Oui, pourquoi pas sur les billets d'avion, les gens qui partent en vacances, ils ont des sous. Donc, euh... Dès qu'on peut payer des taxes pour participer au progrès euh, dans le monde, bien sûr, He came to my home in New York several years ago and discussed his idea for a modest tax on overseas flights out of France and into France, a one euro tax. They've raised an enormous amount of money, a couple of billion dollars. People don't miss the euro if they're taking the international flights and they know it does a lot of good. Sometimes these small ideas can have huge consequences. A Unitide foi criada em 2006 junto com meu amigo Jacques Chirac quando eu era presidente do Brasil. A parceria contou com o apoio do governo do Chile, da Noruega e do Reino Unido. A Unitide é uma iniciativa extraordinária. Ela parte de uma ideia simples e eficaz. Temos que recorrer a mecanismos inovadores para enfrentar os grandes desafios do século XXI, principalmente a saúde, como o direito de todos. My name is Juliana Odinjo. I am 22 years old. I was born with HIV, as my mother was HIV positive. My father and mother died when I was four of HIV and AIDS. Today, I would like to thank UNITAID for taking up the challenge for bring, of bringing medicines to children and for all the work they have done. Living with HIV will never be easy, but we want to live. Thank you for keeping us alive. So one of the most important figures is this uh, under five mortality. Uh, as was discussed, it's come down uh, from about 50 years ago from 20 million Uh, now, uh, the latest data, which is for 2012, is 6.6 million. So where does it all take us? Well, I think, you know, we can go back to this idea that lives have equal value. Je suis ici à, à Lampedusa, au milieu de centaines d'êtres humains qui ont fait euh, le voyage le plus dangereux qu'on peut faire au monde. Ils ont fui. Pour certains, la guerre, c'est vrai, mais pour d'autres, l'extrême pauvreté. Parce que ça, ce n'est que la première petite vague d'un énorme tsunami qui arrivera. Trouver des financements pour aider ces personnes à avoir de la nourriture, à avoir de l'eau potable, droit à la santé, aux médicaments essentiels, aux vaccins, ça, c'est notre job. Unit Life, c'est une aventure incroyable parce que c'est une solidarité entre le Sud et le Sud. Nous avons besoin de ressources humaines, en bonne santé, en forme physique remarquable, en capacité intellectuelle intacte, pour apprendre, pour se former et servir nos pays. Et pour notre part, nous y prendrons toute notre place, toute notre place pour accompagner cette nouvelle initiative de notre ami Philippe de Seblasier. His commitment to the work we've done in healthcare has been truly amazing. His commitment now to try to do the same thing with a minor tax on oil to promote development in Africa is equally impressive. And of course, he's pushing for 
a modest financial transaction tax, which, if enough countries adopted it, could allow all of the new development goals that are being adopted to be achieved ahead of schedule. So this was a revolutionary idea. It seems simple, but as I said, if you measure it by how many lives have been saved and how many lives have been enhanced, it's had a massive impact. And the whole world owes them a debt of gratitude for that. We launched Unit Life based on a microscopic solidarity contribution on extractive resources, oil, gas, and mines. Four African heads of state already accepted to implement this mechanism. With this money, we are going to combat against chronic malnutrition. It is the reason why we have to create innovative financing if all the countries in the world decide to implement a financial transaction tax, a small one, 0.1% by transaction, we can raise more than $400 billion a year. It's painless for the person who pays, but it is a difference between death and life for millions or billions of people. So the choice is very simple. It is between global solidarity or global war.